Desperate migrants, angry protests, heated rhetoric. Go home! As the debate over immigration continues. But separating fact from fiction is a daunting task. Defund hate! Something Bishop DiMarzio knows all too well. I've been, I've been working with immigrants my whole priesthood for 50 years now, and a lot of the myths that we have that people believe are not really true, and that's where we have a, a bad policy because it's, it's based on uh, false information. Those policies have both sides of the aisle debating immigration reform as surges at the southern border continue to vex the new administration. What we're doing now is attempting to rebuild Bishop DiMarzio began his life in the church working with immigrants in an ethnic parish that his mother remembers spoke to his own Italian roots. His first parish that he was sent to, there were quite a few immigrants coming from Italy and he said mass for them in Italian and he start helping them with their citizenship papers, teaching them the English language and helping them with various things that they needed to be helped. After earning advanced degrees in social work and philosophy, he used his expertise to work with lawmakers on migrant reform. We are opposed to illegal immigration. We've, on the record, clearly many times in that area. Testifying before Congress, consulting on migrant reform, even brokering the release of political prisoners from Cuban jails in face-to-face -face conversations with Fidel Castro. By 1996, then Monsignor DiMarzio was back in New Jersey, where he was elevated to Auxiliary Bishop and then to Bishop of Camden, all the while taking on more responsibilities in defense of migrants, participating on pontifical councils, chairing several organizations, and helping to establish the Catholic Legal Immigration Network, or CLINIC. Pretty much anything good that's happened in the immigration field, Bishop's been involved in. Donald Kerwin has been tackling immigration issues with the bishop for decades. So when he was named the new bishop of Brooklyn, he thought it was a perfect fit and for more than just his professional experience. He's so committed to these issues. He grew up in a house with his um, immigrant grandparents from Italy who didn't speak English. He came up from an Italian community and he's always been personally very, very committed to these issues. So to know where your grandparents come from, to be able to interact with them, uh, gave me the feeling of what immigration was like for them and how the same problems that they faced are faced by new immigrants today. And today that tradition continues with a culturally diverse patchwork of 26 ethnic ministries, half of whom are immigrants. Brooklyn's strong immigrant ministry is now spearheaded by Catholic Charities of Brooklyn and Queens, where Monsignor Alfred Lepinto deals with the challenges facing the diocese's ever-changing demographics. Brooklyn and Queens, uh, back then and even more so through his time here, has been a, a community, communities const in constant change. There has been kind of an experimental situation in this little laboratory they call Brooklyn and Queens. A big experiment for sure, where the effects of Bishop DiMarzio's lifelong work can be felt by more than three million immigrants in that very special place forever known as the Diocese of Immigrants. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell to get updates to all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.